idea fact is CCD proudly presents Media One, an exim pep talk 2 powered by Al Salama, the B School International. UK is the one who is going to be here. This is the one who is going to be here. You are going to be here. You are going to be here. You Daniel Philip is a graduate from Birmingham City University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Sound and Multimedia Technology. During this time, he started a video production company called Sentient Visuals. After graduating, he worked full-time on the company, creating online video content for some of the biggest international brands, including Bentley, Lamborghini and Bolson Coors. He was asked back to Birmingham City University to teach filmmaking to students through workshops and courses. Daniel then went on to focus on documentary filmmaking with the aim of promoting positive change through short forms, online documentaries about various issues worldwide. So please put your hands together for Mr. Daniel Philip. We have been blessed with your August presence and all here. Over to you, sir. Hello, everyone. So. How many people here have posted to social media today? Not very many. A few over here. We all know how to interact with social media on a daily basis, but a lot of us aren't putting the time in for our business. I've seen the industry change drastically in the last 10 years. Some companies have seen almost overnight success by creating a strong brand through clever social media marketing, sometimes spending little to no money on advertising itself whilst at the same time, companies have been crowded out and forgotten due to not moving with the changing times fast enough. There's no doubt that social media marketing has become incredibly powerful. In a lot of ways, it's leveled the playing field. There is no barrier to entry. If you have a computer or a smartphone, you can create social media pages for your business for free and start to build an audience. Not just a local one, but a global one. When focusing on India, we can see that there was around 250 million active social media users in 2018, and that's estimated to almost double in 2023. It's not just young males aged between 16 and 34 anymore. I've spoken to friends from all over India, and I've been hearing the same thing. Granddads, nieces and nephews, and everyone in between are coming online. This trend has been happening in England for some time, and we're still learning how best to appeal to this new audience. So, what type of content will all these people be consuming? Luckily for me, the answer is video. We are seeing all the major social media platforms doubling down on video-based content. And that includes LinkedIn, who launched native video in 2017, which has resulted in impressive levels of engagement. This year, in 2019, it's estimated that 80% of the content we consume online is video. It makes sense. If a picture says a thousand words, how many does video tell you? Whatever product or service you are selling, creating video content for social media is a great way to get your message out into the world. Who's heard of Google's term, the zero moment of truth? Put simply, it's the point in the buying cycle where a customer researches a product when deciding if they want to buy or not. Nowadays, more and more people are turning to Google searches, YouTube, and social media when making purchase decisions. If you have little to no content online, then you just will not exist to a lot of these people. Conversely, if they've heard about you from various different information sources, then the more the trust that builds in your brand. Now the question is, how much video content are you creating for your business? How many videos do you have on your website? How active are you on your company's social media pages? Of course, social media isn't the magic answer to every company's success, but it can be a very cost-effective way to build a brand and increase sales, especially when you're just starting out and marketing budgets are low. So how do you create video content for your business? You hire me. Actually, no, I'm here to tell you why you don't need to hire people like me. Today, I'm going to tell you how you can film your own video content and give you some ideas for the type of content you can create. I'm certain pretty much everyone in this room has the tools available to create video content that can get their business attention. But most just don't know how to use them to their full potential. First, I'm going to show you an example of how the industry has changed in recent times. 
Here's a promotional video I made for Molson Coors, one of the world's largest brewing companies, a few years back. So that was a nice enough video, there were some nice shots, some nice music, but not too much happens. The entire video goes on for another two minutes. It doesn't tell you too much about the company apart from, you know, they got a nice brand and it looked like a fun launch event. Now I'm going to show you another example. This is a recent video I made for a digital investment bank called Fincross International. The guy you see here is the CEO of the company and former Africa and Middle East regional CEO of Societe Generale, Europe's seventh largest bank. This video was taken during the run-up to the company's launch. Welcome to Mauritius International Airport. The local time is 4.35 in the afternoon and the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. We've just arrived in uh, Mauritius. It's uh, 5.38 and uh, we are staying, as you can see, uh, two months. No, I'm joking. We are staying on these three days. This week will be very busy because we have uh, some... Welcome to Mauritius International Airport. The local time is 4.35 in the afternoon and the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. Welcome to Mauritius International We just arrived in uh, Mauritius. It's uh, 5.38 and uh, we are staying, as you can see, uh, two months. No, I'm joking. We are staying on these three days. This week will be very busy because we have uh, some very important meetings with uh, our custodians, with uh, a real estate agency to find our local office, so it will be exciting. Okay, I'm here at MCB to open our Fiat Custodian account. So we've come out specially to Mauritius to to get this account open, so hopefully it shouldn't take long. Today we had a very interesting meetings with our future local partners, which are the Custodian Bank. So we have met uh, MCB and Afraasia. We were very impressed by their capability in terms of trading rooms, products offering, so which is quite good for FinCross and our future clients. So after our due diligence, we have decided to open uh, uh, two banks accounts with uh, MCB and Afraasia for FinCross, so corporate account. It's unusual seeing such a high profile and successful CEO of a bank talk to his customers in this way. The pre-production meetings with Fincross was very interesting. They understood this unorthodox approach for a company that is essentially a bank was the right move. To create behind the scenes video content, informal weekly vlogs that allow their clients to get to know the people behind the brand. This transparency and intimate view towards the company has proven to be an effective way to create a trustworthy brand. They are no longer just a bank with a logo. They are a team of passionate people working hard to create a company that puts its customers first. And what better way of proving that than to show the team doing exactly that. At the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. This type of human social media content is having a big impact. The videos have done well, averaging around 50,000 views each. This is much more than a typical animation video would have achieved. But those videos also have their place and purpose. Here's a video that's part of a marketing campaign I filmed for Gillette and Twitch. The campaign only just launched yesterday. Hey everyone, Orb here. We all love gaming, but it can be very irritating. Gillette, Twitch and I wanted to find out your top irritations whilst gaming and you chose bad manners. And I think we've all encountered bad manner players from time to time. I know I sure have, but here's Gillette with a couple of solutions to help us out. Number one, and my personal favorite, is eat a bag of chips right into the mic to annoy the player. Or better yet, probably just hit the mute button. Gillette helps to avoid irritation while shaving and gaming. So the target audience is gamers in this example. One of the great things about social media is how well you can target a certain demographic. But the thing to note from this ad is it's all about what is being said. No fancy shots or scenes, just one angle and some text. 
If you can come up with content that appeals to your target market, then you've got a good chance they will subscribe to your content and get to know your product and services better. Now the vlog content for the bank is a big commitment and I can understand that maybe a lot of you won't have the time or resources to create content like this. The Gillette ad series features a famous gamer and includes some quite complicated motion graphics which can be costly. So what kind of video content can you create on your own with your smartphone at no cost and easily that will be useful to your clients and potential clients? How often do you get asked the same questions about your products and services the first time you have a conversation with a customer? Usually around 80% are the same each time. Creating a video answering these questions and having it easily accessible on your website and social media pages can not only save you time but also lead to more sales. This, this type of video is super simple to create. First of all, write down the most common five to seven questions your potential customers ask you. Then film yourself answering each one, one at a time. You can make notes on the key points you want to hit in your answers, but don't squip word for word, unless you've got many years as a TV news anchor under your belt. Try to keep your answers short and concise while making sure all key points are hit. If you make a mistake, continue to the end of your answer and then repeat multiple times until you have a few different takes to choose from. Do this for each question, then create one video from the best takes. Later, I'll go over some software you can use to edit simple videos like this. Now that sounds simple enough, and it is, but there are some tips and tricks I can tell you to make life a little easier and also result in a better quality final video. Let's start with framing. For a video like this, a media close-up is best. That's a shot that starts off at your chest and goes a little bit above your head. It's a shot you'll see in pretty much every movie when a character is having a conversation with someone. You can see in these examples here. Also, ideally, you want the camera at eye level. Too low and it'll make you look quite unattractive, and too high and you'll look small. Eye level, you're seeing eye to eye with your audience. If you have a colleague with steady hands, they can hold the camera, but it needs to be steady. Nobody enjoys shaky footage, unless you're watching an action scene. A great tip when filming with your phone is to tuck your elbows into your body as it massively reduces shake. If you don't have any colleagues, friends, or family, DIY a tripod by stacking tables or whatever else you can find and sandwich your phone between two heavy objects to keep it propped up. Generally, you want to film in landscape, but if, you're if your video is specifically for mobile optimized platforms like Instagram and Facebook Stories, then portrait is the way to go. This decision is more complicated nowadays due to many platforms offering both landscape and portrait orientation. Light. If possible, you want to be the brightest object in the frame. If the light source is large, then even better. Soft light is more flattering and generally more cinematic. An easy way to achieve this is to stand next to closed white curtains similar to the setup in this image where there's a big light source off to the left. You want to avoid areas where the background is super bright and avoid areas where there isn't much light. I could go into loads more detail when it comes to lighting shots, but this will get you started for now. Now my least favorite aspect of filming in India, sound. Get as far from roads as you can as microphones are very sensitive. They pick up noise from cars and other vehicles very easily and it can be very distracting and sometimes difficult to hear the message you are trying to get across. Take five seconds just to listen. Note where the noises are coming from. Take time to think how you can reduce those noises or get away from them. That usually means turning fans and AC off which can make things a little uncomfortable. Take some test shots, look and listen to see what works. The closer you are to the microphone, the better. This means background noise is reduced. That's another reason why the medium close-up is a great shot for these types of videos. Later, I will talk briefly about some affordable equipment you can buy to make creating these videos a little easier. After you're done with filming, it's now time for the most daunting part of the filmmaking process for most people, the edit. Some people love it, some people hate it. Luckily for a video like this, it's incredibly quick and easy. Any video editing software allows you to cut video up. 
What you want to do for each answer is cut the parts before and after you talk. You place that clip on the timeline, then you do the same for the rest of the answers. If you are feeling really fancy, you can add fades between the answers. You can add music and other bells and whistles, but for now that's not important. At first, just focus on making the videos clear and informative. Then at a later date, you will naturally get curious and experimental. Most people find it a fun process. If that's not you, then get someone else in your company to do it. If you work alone, get your brother, sister, son, daughter, or cousin to do it. To a lot of people, the process is enjoyable. Sell it to them as valuable experience or offer to write them a shining reference. Here's a few more examples of simple video content you can create for your business. A great one is customer testimonials. Using the tips I talked about earlier, film your customers talking about your product or service. Ask for permission first, of course. It carries a lot more weight when the words come directly from your customers rather than you all the time. Meet the team videos. A short introduction to each of the people at your company. They can talk about what they do, why they are passionate about their work, their experience, whatever you think is relevant. The more human you can make your company, the more likely your customers will trust you and the more likely they will share your content without being prompted. Product video. This is where it gets slightly more complicated, but only slightly. Film yourself talking about the product or service exactly the same way as I described for the frequently asked questions video, then film various shots of the product or service. Wides, close-ups, people using it. Then in the edit, place these over the top of you speaking. This is the best way to show off your product and quickly communicate key information. And if still I haven't convinced you to spend a few hours a week creating video content to help your business, I have another option for you. There are many content creators on social media who review products and sometimes they have a huge following. Reach out to them, offer to send them a sample of your product if they are interested in reviewing it. You can either offer a discount for their audience which will help you keep track of exactly where sales are coming from. If your product or service isn't very good, then maybe don't go for this option. I'll quickly talk about some affordable equipment and software you can use to increase the production value of your videos. First of all, a lapel microphone. This little microphone plugs straight into your phone and clips onto your collar. It does a great job of increasing audio quality and reduces background noise. When you're in an environment like this, like a conference, it's a great tool to have. A tripod. Tons of cheap options out online. Just make sure it reaches eye level and make sure you get an adapter to mount your phone to it. If you want to hear about cameras, find me after my talk and I can go on for hours. If I had to pick one to get started, something like the Sony A6000 captures beautiful footage for a low price. If you're editing on a computer, try Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve. There is a basic version which will do everything you need. The premium version is regularly used in Hollywood and is well respected. If you're editing on a phone, there's tons of apps out there. One I've used in the past is called Splice and it worked well. Be sure to check reviews online for all these products to figure out what's best for your needs. It's important to remember consistency is key when it comes to getting the most out of social media. You have to commit to posting regularly, ideally every day. Now that doesn't mean a new video every day, but images and text work great too. Find your tone, see what resonates with your audience. It takes a bit of time and experiment uh, experimentation but eventually you will figure out what works and the process starts to occur naturally. Involve your customers. Ask them questions on social media. Ask them to film their own testimonials. See if there is particular content they would like to see. Creating these relationships is such a powerful marketing tool and before social media it was so much more difficult, almost impossible. Practice makes perfect. It is painful at first and it's not easy talking to the camera like it's a human. But the more time you spend on it, the better you will become. Once you get the, to grips talking to the camera, it allows you to communicate so much more to your audience. But it's best to remember it's not about you. It's about your product and service and how they are useful to your clients. Create a strong brand identity that people want to be part of by communicating the brand culture to your audience effectively. This also creates an environment that means your employees feel a stronger connection to your company. Go create. 
Start sharing more on your social media pages. Less photos, more video, which means less selfies. Less about you, more about the story, more about the experience, what you are doing and what it is like. This is great practice and means when you start posting content to your company's pages, you'll hit the ground running. The industry is growing and evolving at an incredible speed. It's hard to keep up, but this also means there's opportunity to innovate and take advantage of this powerful young platform. Thank you. Adeham, uh, social media le video on dark and petty and some side to the picture is worth thousand words on angle video etre arikim narno the hancho chin the YouTuber Mudalaitla, Urivarsal Netflix, you keep in the lang content and an okana. How to create video content? Pare video random in it on a random in tip of beer and a garnish the beer and a cousin in a garnish on the shipping and the chitting alkari some sarik in the CEOs, some sarik in the Bolola, videos and a kudal mumbo to bear another. Uh, CEO directly talking to the customers. If we look at Modi, we will see that 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 Pala video TV channel gari volume, nalla high powerful smart mobile which itana recording at the common item. Ningada business in a curchola, chodingala Namaka answer item the Kuruka mingle, Uruwada Kiringala Ningala Parenda Ningada Uru top item Sadarna within the questions and then rare turnum edicuanangle. Alone no random, Ningala then Ningada local bashele, Ningada and CEO then. Mobile record either to other motor could come angle, social media poor angle, non Arikim. Um, Korce Parnebakin in technical anna, or a medium close up, Valanda close up, Vanda Valare Dure Menda. Usually landscape lana, number TV lelam, screen lelam verine, she mobile Instagram located in the angle, portrait, Nila Tilla the Arikin, another good light, blurred, avoid noise, Karinadum or Mike Bioikia. Sound on down the fan, bakula la of here. Editing software under other people mobile than I'm editing software under Kutilo to the pattern cut the editor. Music and titles alarm. I look at the editor. This year, account of the loop customers testimony. The random on the carrying over here. Ningada business in the January college in the end day. Successful title like orchard students in the testimonials are under the angle. Another day, the poor or the recursion. Turcia itu malah selama cederu program dalam selama kategori B school ini cederu executive MBA ada, elar ada testimonial sah, nalar ini lalu viral itu spread di tempat, angin tu ni ada cerita. Kali ini ada satu kerjus bangi akan mandi, rancat itu keram beru, orang beru itu fadei ini boleh title sah elan share kau nanti elu, ber, satu ceri satu symbol, satu kerjus biasa urut aja edit itu dengan kita mungkin. Pine, pernah customer testimonial meet the team. Ninggal team itu the members ni, perbuatan kani cipta boleh arah ke arah, nolol tu kani kita video sah, product video, content video, edak edak ke posting itu arah nanggil, nolol arah ikim. Walau podo arah nolol, terang karya arah dekam pernah. Thank you so much sir, thank you nice. Thanks a lot, Mr. Phillips. Actually, you spoke and you made it simplified the very large topic of video into twenty minutes. So my question is regarding this. See. Uh, different social media platforms are, uh, although they are different, but the mood they are in are very much different. Like I am into Facebook, I am into Instagram, I am into Twitter and LinkedIn. But the audience, like I can say an example, um, in LinkedIn people are in office mood, in Instagram people are in party mood, and in Facebook people are in family mood. So if while posting or creating video, maybe the product is for same product or service, can you summarize the three top points which we should consider while taking and creating these videos? The last thing is uh, top three points. Uh, the top three points which we need to consider while creating, maybe the, pr the video is for the same purpose, but the people who are in these social media platforms are in different moods. I think you got it. Yeah, yeah that's a very good point. I think the first thing to consider is that 
Shorter form content works well on Instagram. As you said, it's more of a party platform. One thing that I should mention as well is that there are different audiences on different platforms. Especially in India, mainly young people are on Instagram. You don't have too many older people on, on the platform, which is very different in England. So you've got to look at where you're targeting. Um, on Facebook, you know, uh, as we've seen, pretty much everyone is getting involved. So I guess the key thing to do is research where your audience is uh, on social media, which platform they're on. I guess number two is to think about what length of content you are creating and then that will give you an idea of where it should go. You know, um, Facebook, YouTube, they're kind of better for longer form. Again, Instagram um, is for shorter form content. Um, and number three... Um, LinkedIn. Yeah, and then obviously LinkedIn, more business orientated um, content. And I think now, for most of the people in this room, they'll want to be taken advantage of LinkedIn because it's only recently that they've started using video. And it's, been, it's proven to be incredibly effective. There's so much more engagement on video, on LinkedIn, than through text and articles and everything else. This is all the stuff you would assume would get the most engagement on LinkedIn, a business platform. But video is the way to go. So it's best to keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me invite Dr. Uh, Yehia Khan, Chairman, Calicut Positive Circle, Advisory Board Member of Idea Factory. I also invite Mr. Mujib, Director of Idea Factory CCD and Managing Director of Zod Edu.